Alrighty. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I don't know if that showed up on camera, but it's cold. So I woke up this morning, it's 29 degrees. Feels like it's warming up. I don't know if that's just because I'm warm. I did order heating oil just now. And uh, it's that time of the year where now you're going to hear me complain about spending $500 like every two weeks because my house is not the best insulated house in the world. And uh, well, going to a rummage sale. First time hanging out to this rummage sale. It's actually in a town that I do garbage picking. Garbage picking was yesterday. Now people don't get home from work till five o'clock and And there's just not enough garbage out to make it, uh, to validate a whole trip out there to do garbage picking. So I kind of canceled doing those two towns, which isn't a big concern, but it'll pick back up in the spring when we have daylight savings hit us again. Should be a fun one. Let's see if we we'll find any treasures at this rummage sale. Let's do it. All right. Oh, that was really weird. I almost pulled the, the old uh, Vansky, leaving in, in neutral. Or drive but like I said garbage picking town uh, I thought these were you know these might work and now they're not gonna work I thought they might make good boxes but they're like uh, this one will the other one uh, looks too much like a drawer this one looks like a box so that I'll grab that still picking um this is a town that i usually garbage pick but like i said it just gets too dark too early so i can't do that uh do this town for the fall or winter but i'll still drive by and see if there's anything around that might be the only item got some carpet out there more garbage all right keep on trekking Gotta get to this rummage sale. I think it starts in like 30 minutes. So, should be all right. What's up here? Oh, like a desk. It's the festive room. someone dies.
All right, so we're going to go through a little recap here of not just, uh, not just rummage sale stuff. I only picked up two things. It's kind of funny. There's, who's that? The neighbor. Uh, I only picked up two things. There wasn't really, wasn't really much there for me. A lot. They had a lot of Abercrombie T-shirts and Abercrombie button-up shirts. And when I went to check out, since they don't have the price anywhere, they were pretty expensive for their prices for rummage sales, like two dollars and fifty cents for a shirt, three fifty or four dollars for sweatshirts, sweaters. Uh, lots of the glassware is also pretty pricey. But I ended up getting two things. I got a filler Yankees T-shirt that I'll have to save till next year. Uh, I just want to pick up something, just a Yankees T-shirt. And then this this is kind of cool. It's a sweatshirt, and it's a Playboy sweatshirt. I would say from the 80s, maybe the 70s. This probably came if you bought a bunch of magazines. You get a free sweatshirt or something. I don't know. I feel like Playboy's kind of overproduced, but... And that logo kind of looks a lot like UPenn or Princeton. So, I don't know if it's really like an iconic Playboy sweatshirt that's very, you know, sought after. But I thought it was cool. And I want to grab something. What has happened? Oh, I haven't used my van since, I think, Garbage Day, which was a couple days ago. I still haven't taken out this stuff. I want to get to the scrapyard. Oh, no, I went to uh, <laughs> went to the auction. What the? How is that even possible? Went to the auction the other day, so, yeah. I still have to unload this stuff. Huh. It's amazing. It's like you kind of forget what happens with your life when you don't do a lot of things in one day. But... I want to go to the scrapyard, and I was working on some things. As you guys might see, lots of stuff here. This isn't scrap. This has to go to the warehouse. This is all flea market stuff. You guys might remember me talking about going to uh, pick up a bunch of things from a rummage sale after they were after they had the rummage sale. It's actually a while back, but they uh, they give everything away for free. So they had a bunch of bottles there. These aren't anything great, I don't think. But they had five bucks on it. Another one has five bucks on it. A whole bunch of assortment of stuff. This nutcracker as well. I don't think I showed you guys some of this stuff. This guy's, I think he was ten bucks. He was. It's kind of cool. So I got to try and clean up a little around here these toolboxes. I think I found both of these in the trash. I did. I found both of these in the trash. They have treated me well. The kind of project I want to work on was taking apart these radiators for scrap. Uh, if you guys do any scrapping, you can actually use a saw just like this thing and saw off all these copper noodles. You just go, and you saw it all the way off, and then this is number two copper, so there's probably, maybe I'd say a dollar fifty there in number two copper, and then you have one on the bottom side as well. It's probably another dollar, so you have about two dollars and fifty cents. It takes maybe a minute to do both sides, and I have another radiator over here, and then you have to cut off this top piece, and then they'll give you a clean radiator price, which I think is 90 cents per pound. That's probably two or three pounds there. Otherwise, I think it's 30 cents a pound. But this is kind of my whole scrap pile. I know a lot of people have been requesting me do another scrap video, so I think I'll have to do that in the future. Got my aluminum and stuff like that. Uh, just got to clean up today. That's kind of my project for today is definitely clean up. I don't know if I'll run to the scrapyard. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. It's getting cold. It's getting brutally cold. But my life is busy. I have to get salsa out, take her for a walk. I have to get salsa out, take her for a walk, and stay at it. Now with this cold weather, it's getting harder and harder to do outdoor stuff. But, yeah, that's that. Uh kind of going to wrap it up here, try to get some work done, try to keep it a short video for you guys, and uh, stay busy. It's my, it's, my, uh, it's my advice for you guys to continue to stay busy, keep chasing the dream, and uh, keep at it. Winter's almost here. Winter's almost here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.